Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for March 29th, 2024. The character The Watcher and the modifiers on Insanity start with a random deck of 50 cards. Blue card, blue card, champion, rewards, and shops. And lethality, you start each combat with plus 3 strength. And all enemies start each combat with plus 3 strength as well. I see a few familiar names here. Anti with 1350, Mike with 1327. So it looks like things are possible even though lethality will make it hard. Let's see what the, uh, what the Insanity deck brings me here. Alright, so starting off with almost the collector rounds on the beam cell already. Two empty bodies, two leaps, three pressure points, three recursions. Okay, I don't actually have any collector bonuses, but I am close to a few. Do I have no ways to enter Wrath or Calm? That would be really disappointing. I do have two ways to exit it, empty body, but yeah, no crescendos. Oh no, there's one Tranquility. Okay, well that doesn't really help me much. Okay, I would like to pick up ways to enter Wrath as soon as I can. So two lead paths everywhere, right? So if I go on the left, I'll get one, two, three, four crush mark rooms. Turning right at the end gives me one less. If I go in the middle, I'll get one, two, three, four. No, wait. I have to go. If I go in the middle, I have to go for this elite, which means I will get one, two, three, four. So I can't go this path. All right. Um, so then between left and right is on the right. I do have a chance for an early shot, but I think I'll reject it. I also have two force rest sites. In the middle, I'll get um, no, no, just one force rest site and no guaranteed shot. Yeah, I think I'll go with the path in the middle. I also should keep in mind that by taking question mark rooms, the run goes by a little faster, and taking regular fights takes makes it a little longer, but let's see what happens here. I can fill a defend with the boot sequence, a leap, and uh, wow, this is actually a little disappointing. Okay, 10 incoming, let's do beam cell, follow up, rebound, and then um, I can do deceive reality and safety, and then I should be able to kill next turn. Could have rebounded an attack card just to make my life easier, especially, no, I can kill here, good. Got a Dex Potion, Barrage of Valid, Consecrate. I don't want to take another Barrage. So I don't have any Evaluates and I don't have any Consecrates, but I think a, an eval a Consecrate is probably better. Okay. All right. Lose three HP only to get Tiny Chest. Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. The problem with that is now I'm it's forced upon me. But you know what? I Yesterday I didn't go for Curses and I was happy mostly because... They, well, they didn't hurt me and also nobody was able to get Curses yesterday. Let's risk it again, although... Hmm, I, I wonder, the other option is to reload and see if, um, if well, and just not take the, the curse. I think it's, or not the curse, the relic. I think it's fine. Let's, let's, uh, let's handle with what the game gave me here. All right, uh, here I think I can kill with the rebound. Pressure points is not that much. Let me rebound the go for the ice, then do pressure points, boot sequence, and third eye. And then, yeah, this looks actually fine next turn. I think I should be able to kill the extra strength. Does make it very easy. Okay. All right, ball lightning, compile driver, pressure points. Well, I could get a collect bonus on the pressure points. Let's take it. Mm -hmm. All right, got the lice here. Um, 10 incoming. I can't kill. Not 10 incoming, 19 incoming. I can't kill anyone, right? Although I could do here. Let's do wallop. And then um, I can kill this one with pressure points, right? Because it ignores block, all right? And then I I don't think I need to see reality. I think I should be able to kill. Uh, I do have 9 incoming here. Let's do double energy. Uh, heat sinks um, and re um, reinforced body. I was going to say reprogram, but no. Actually, if I do get offered a program here, I might take it. Because in this deck, I don't have any orbs, uh, any useful orbs. A second consecrate, recursion, or turbo. I know I have three recursions, right? That's just very useless without any actual orbs. Um, I do have one, no, two turbos. I think I'll take a second consecrate. That might be slightly better. And here I got the Acid Slime with 19 incoming. All right, good thing I have. Let me play the rebound at the end because I don't think I need it. Um, I can just do Leap, Steam Barrier. Should I do Reinforced Body? Yeah, you know what? Let's do Rebound then Reinforced Body. That will allow me to be full of defend next turn. Who's my final boss, by the way? Slime Boss. Okay, so I don't need to lose HP. Here, let's do Wallop. And then Empty Body. Don't need to play anything else. Okay. Another 14. Let's do Double Energy, Crush, Joints, Beam Cell, Rebound. No, let's do Recursion first. Well, actually, I guess I didn't need to do Recursion. I could have rebounded an Attack card. That would have guaranteed a kill here, but I should be able to kill here as well. All right. Got a Colorless Potion, Seek, Auto Shields, Third Eye. I probably won't go for um, Rare Cards, so I'll go for Pomper. And yeah, let's take Third Eye. I know I have at least one extra copy of that already. All right, Legavulin. Like I'll probably wait, although I'm not sure what to wait for. Should I play the Tranquility? Let's do that. That way, once I... I'm able to exit. I'll gain extra energy. Mm, yeah, yeah, I think I can wait here again. Okay. Alright, so here... Do you have a hologram? Anything useful to hologram? Not really. I think I'll just attack then, right? 
Yeah, let's do wallop, turbo, third eye. Reinforced body would allow me to defend next turn. Yeah, I think I'll keep everything here. And then let's hologram. Do I have a one energy attack card? Could do compile driver. Yeah, let's do compile driver here. All right. I do have a dex potion as well that I'm considering using here. The question is, oh, I have the steam barrier. So here, let's do, let's do steam barrier. Hang on. Um, this would be seven plus two plus six. That's thirteen fifteen. That's not enough. So I have to play at least a two energy reinforced body with the cold snap. I don't think I'll do crush joints then. Yeah, let's just do steam barrier, claw, cold snap, and then reinforced body. Mm -hmm. That'll be the extra strength. I needed that. All right, and here, unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do. Even if I drink the dex potion, right? That's going to be uh, 5, 7, 14, 16 with the dex potion. Let me see if the colorless potion gives me something mind blast. Unfortunately, it's not enough, but the good instincts might be enough, right? Let me recalculate. So 7, 14, 20. Okay, let me drink the dex potion as well. Then the third eye. Pressure points might actually be really useful here. Don't need this. Okay. Then good instincts. Actually, fusion is enough too, right? Yeah, let me do fusion. Oh, but then I won't be able to play the pressure points. Fine, let's do fusion, miracle, pressure points. Okay, because I know I'm not attacked next turn. The extra energy might help. And I know I have an extra pressure points here. Let's do double energy, pressure points, beam cell, barrage. Oof. Okay, this might be tough. I don't have any potions anymore. Protect is 13. Wait, this is actually 24 damage. That's not bad. 7 plus 13 is 20. One short. Is there something I can do? Can I kill somehow? If I do ball lightning, not really, right? If I do ball lightning pressure points, I am not that far off. Instead of the recycle, if I had another defensive card, that would have been enough. But as it stands, I'm losing one HP. That's a bummer. That's unfortunate. Yeah, almost perfect. That one we got potion belt. I'm pick up gain two potion slots. Battle him, rip and tear, compile driver. As much as I like. Actually, I don't like another compile driver. I thought I had more than one. I only have one. Let's take the battle him, and I wouldn't mind getting that upgrade as well. That will give me at least some reliable attack cards. All right, so here, let's do boot sequence, ball lightning, recursion, beam cell, and third eye. This looks fine. Probably don't need the force field. Mm -hmm. All right, 13. Let's do go for the ice, flurry of blows, and pressure points for a kill. Good. Got a fruit juice potion, which I'll save for later. Um, flurry of blows, empty fist, or protect. I know I already have one protect, and I think I wouldn't mind getting a second one. Mm -hmm. And then here, yeah, let's take my first curse although with tiny chest getting curses might be a challenge and i have to go left for the next elite right we got strawberry up and pick up racer max by seven that's nice and then here upgrade a heat sinks and reinforced body that heat sinks upgrade is not very useful useful here i think i'll upgrade the battle him yeah again having reliable attacks it does make my opening hand a little worse but i do have that boot sequence to help me which i wouldn't mind getting upgrade as well that's probably going to be the next upgrade all right, battle him, boot sequence, steam barrier, leap, and then claws only six damage. Let's target the backliner to avoid getting everybody else some block. Hmm. I don't have any good AOE damage cards, right? Uh, pressure points doesn't kill the backliner. All right, uh, let's do... How do I do this? Uh, wheel kick kills you. That's good. All right. And then I can do smite, reinforced body. A 200 reinforced body is enough. So, yeah, let me do here. Hmm. Let's do third eye. Probably get rid of these two, then do reinforced body with a miracle, and then I'll do beam cell. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, another fourteen. Um, I have two recursions and no orbs, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's do let's do a smite to kill you, and then I think I'll just fully defend with a third eye. Oh, lightning would be great, and another third eye. Uh, turbo is fine too. Okay. Mm hmm. And then here I can do Ball Lightning Smite. And then can I kill this one? Um, yes, I think 10, 11. Yeah, that's exactly enough. Flying Sleeves and Smite. Good. All right, Sash with Buffer or Hologram. Hologram, I know I have a few of those already, right? How many do I have exactly? Um, where are my Holograms? Oh, I only have one. Interesting. And I have uh, no Sash Whips, right? Uh, all right, well, let's take a second Hologram. It's not a bad idea, especially once I get an Aggregate. Move transform upgrade. I think I'll transform, but what would I transform? We don't need to transform the curse, right? Yeah, anything I have here, I might get a collector moves on. So let me not transform anything. Let's just upgrade, I guess. Yeah. And I think I'll upgrade the uh, boot sequence once I find it. Here it is. Okay. Then maybe I should upgrade the holograms next because that way I can do hologram chaining once I get an aggregate, right? 
Alright, so let's do Heat Sinks, battle him to see what I get. Uh, oof, a little too late for the double energy. Um, so I think I'll just do Beam Cell. Uh, actually, Deceive Reality is good. Let's do Beam Cell, Compile Driver, and then Deceive Reality. Okay. Alright, 17. That is a lot. Can I kill here? If I do Crush... Jo no, let's do Beam Cell. Streamline is 27. Smite is 22. Uh, let's do Claw. Then Smite... And then, yeah, Streamline is enough to kill. All right, perfect this one. Very happy with that. We got Pinup. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Indignation is finally a way to enter Wrath. I think I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And then next upgrade. I already have all my innate, well, my two innate cards upgraded. Maybe next I'll upgrade. Yeah, Holograms. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, got the Slime Boss here. Uh, not the best start. Let's do Battle him to see reality. And I guess I'll wait. No reason to play anything else. So here, let's do Flurry of Blows, Ball Lightning. Um, I guess I can do Turbo, Wallop, Tranquility, and another Flurry of Blows and a Smite. Okay. A little worried I won't be able to transform with a good value here. Um, I do have a Hologram. What would I need to Hologram back? Another Ball Lightning? Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Let's do Consecrate, Turbo, Like Water. Then Hologram, the Ball Lightning. Okay, and then Smite. Yeah, 42 is not the best split value, but it's not horrible either. All right. Okay, 19 incoming. There's double energy. That gives me one more energy. Then Steam Barrier. I mean, I have 11. I just need eight more. Should I do Cool Headed? Let me see what the Cool Headed gives me. Pressure points is fine. And then um, I could just transform the backline, all right? Uh, yeah, let's do Flying Sleeves and Smite. Double damage Smite. Would be better to attack this one with it, right? Yeah, fine. Let's do that. Okay. A little risky. Now everyone has 12 HP. Okay, in the back, two are attacking me. Rebound is enough. Uh, so let's rebound the Compile Driver. Okay. Then do Beam Cell. All right. White Noise gives me Mental Fortress, which is not really necessary. And yeah, next turn I'll have two Smites. I'll be able to kill with that. Okay. Yeah, so I just missed the first boss by... The first Elite by one HP, which is a shame. But perfect everything else. I got a stance shift potion, establishment spirit shield, there's X Machina. Let's go for Popper. And then here, Fusion Hammer, Holy Water, or Slaver's Collar. All of these are fine. Holy Water is interesting, but I am not sure if I need. I don't really need extra energy, but Slaver's Collar is the safe choice. You know what? Let's take Slaver's Collar. Doing Boston Elite Combats, get extra energy at the start of your turn. That will give me consistent energy, whereas the uh, Holy Water. Also, it replaces a relic, right? So I don't get an extra relic. So yeah, I think this is the right right up approach here. All right, three lead path on the left with one. Oh wow, just two question mark rooms. Um, and I can choose the shop here, but I think I'll save my gold for the shop right here. That's a little disappointing that I have so few question mark rooms, but I have to maximize elite. So All right here, let's do boot sequence team bear to be fully defended. I would love to play the indignation, but then I'll take way too much damage. So let's just do uh, let's just not do that. Okay. All right, so uh, let's do Cold Snap, Ball Lightning, Barrage, Consecrate, and then I should be able... I, I missed double damage, right? Um, can I kill here? Wheel Kick, 15, 30. Yeah, so if I do Wheel Kick and then two Smites, that is enough. Come. Okay. All right, Nirvana, Perseverance, Empty Body. I know I already have two Empty Bodies, so let's take a third one. And then here I got the Shell Parasite with 18 incoming. Yeah, the extra strength is annoying on this one. I can fully defend, so I'm not going to complain. Get rid of these two... I could do Corruption here. Um, I don't want to do Flying Sleeves because it won't break through the block anyway. But then this turn I can do Indignation and Tranquility. Um, yeah, let's do Miracle Indignation. Then um, let's do Crush Joints, Flurry of Blows, Consecrate. And then I would like to defend against 13 still. Um, or wait, I can kill here. Right, almost forgot about that. Got a Flex Potion, which is great. Sunder, Cold Snap, or Protect. I already have three Protects, I believe, right? Uh, where are they? Yeah, no, I have only two protects. It's still a great card. Let's take a third one, and it's pre-upgraded. Mm -hmm. All right, Centurion Mystic. Is there a way for me to get either Overkill or Combo? Not without extra energy, right? Yeah, I don't think I can. So, um, yeah, I don't have a study either. All right, fine. Let's just uh, try to kill here. I'll do Third Eye to cure it my next dance. I mean, I guess I can do Pressure Points, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, another 26. That's annoying. Um, stack is a little useless here. Uh, let's do Steam Barrier Safety. Okay. And then I guess I'll do Miracle Pressure Points 
Um, heat sinks and stack. Okay. I'm a little surprised I'm taking this much damage here. All right. Um, here, rebound the flurry of blows. Probably not necessary. Let's rebound the follow up. Yep. Rebound the follow up. Flurry of blows. Flying sleeves. I wasted double damage there, right? I could have just uh, double damaged the uh, flying sleeves. Not really using the pen of that much. All right. Follow up kills this one. All right. And then I think I'll do um, here cold snap and two smites. Okay. I do want to make sure that the backliner doesn't decide to attack me. Unfortunately, it did decide to attack me, but I think I have enough here. Beautiful. All right, collect empty body or go for the ice. I know I have two empty bodies. How many go for the ice do I have? Uh, no, I have three empty bodies and only one go for the ice and uh, no collect. So let's take a collector on the empty body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got gambling chip thanks to the tiny chest that we, uh, right, at the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. That's actually a really powerful relic. And then I have to unfortunately go left. All right, so I could have, this might have been a, sh a curse, right? I, I possibly missed the curse here. Um, probably don't need the turbo here, especially because, yeah, let's just do battle him, deceive reality, and wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, with extra strength of 30 incoming here. All right, let's do crush joints. I don't even need, think I need to recycle or protect. Let's do turbo, then um, protect one, protect, uh, or safety, steam barrier, and then I could, um, here, let's recycle the other protect to play one more protect, okay? We'll defend it that way. Another 30, though. That is annoying. Um, stack is only 7. Uh, let's do cool headed. Okay. Smite follow up. All right. And then let's do recursion. And um, I guess stack is better than nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Not being attacked here. Let's do heat sinks, beam cell, and then just play all the attacks. Mm hmm. I should be able to... Oh, um, I didn't realize I didn't play all the attacks. Yeah, would have been able to kill last turn too. Blurry Blows, they have a form of pressure points. I already have enough pressure points, although this one is upgraded. But yeah, I don't need more than that. Uh, let's take a second Flurry of Blows. Okay. And then I wonder if I should rest here because I don't... I can't really think of anything to upgrade. And resting doesn't have a downside. No, I wanted to upgrade the second hologram. Okay, now after this, I think I can rest. As long as I have two upgraded holograms, I can get... Once I have an aggregate, I can get a chain going. All right, so lots of incoming here. No real chance of perfecting anything, right? Yeah, this one with the extra strength, it's going to be really tough. Um, I mean, I'm going to do boot sequence, empty body, and third eye. That's the best I can do. Uh, this actually looks fine next turn. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, no chance whatsoever. Come. I mean, no, even if I entered Wrath, there's no way I could have perfected this one. I do have double damage soon. I think I'll use that on the wallop. Um, so let's do, let's do Flurry of Blows, then Double Damage Wallop, okay? Almost enough to be fully defended. Can I kill the backliner? Yes, I should. Mostly because, you know what, I'm going to do Turbo Heat Sinks as well. Mostly because I don't want to apply with the, uh, with being Hex next turn, all right? Um, Indignation is interesting because then I can do Wheel Kick for 36 damage, kill with the Flurry of Blows here, then do Steam Barrier and Empty Body. Actually, let me do one more attack here with the Smite and then do Empty Body. Okay, I could have played the, the Flurry of Blows there. And then here, level energy, flying sleeves, and smite is not enough. Oh no, well, at least I can fully defend here, so that's good. And then any attack will kill next turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just that first turn I wasn't able to fully defend. We got Blood Vial at the Starvage Combat, heal 2 HP, as well as a Fear Potion. Sweeping Beam might be necessary AoE damage. How many rebounds do I have? Two. And I only have one Wheel Kick, right? If I'm going for Collector Mode, I should take the third rebound. All right, Sneko here. I might risk doing Indignation. Let's get rid of the defensive cards and pressure points. Yeah, you know what? Let's risk it. Let's do Indignation. Um, I don't think I need to rebound anything. Let's do Pressure Points, Battle Him, and um, let's play the rebound. Okay. okay. I do have double damage. Can I trigger it with the Smite? Yes. So if, if I do Claw... Uh, no, let's do Compile Driver first, then double damage Smite, and then Claw for a kill. Good. Okay, Empty Fist, Leap, or Prostrate. I don't have any Prostrates, I don't have any Empty Fists, and I do have two Leaps, so yeah, I have to take a third one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Dreamcatcher, and if you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Okay, now I'm very happy that I wanted to rest anyway, so this is convenient. Book of Stabbing with extra strength is going to be really tough. 18 incoming, I do have enough block this turn. Don't need the Leap, probably. Fusion might be nice. Um, yeah, let's do Boot Sequence, Empty, Body, Fusion, and Battle Him. 
Okay. So far so good, but next turn I'll have 27. That's going to be tough too. Yeah, I don't think I really stand a chance perfecting this one, right? Let's do... I don't think I need Turbo Recursion is enough. Anything I need to rebound? 14. There's nothing that Potion can give me, right? Yeah. All right, fine. In that case, let's, let's play Rebound, Smite, and then play all the defensive cards, but... Yeah, no way. Actually, two pressure points might be nice. Probably don't need the flurry of blows. Okay. Mm -hmm. 24. All right. Uh, let's do beam cell. I thought I discarded the flurry. That must have been the other one. That's a weird coincidence. Pressure points, two of them, smite, and third eye. I might need to protect an empty body next turn. Definitely don't need the barrage. Okay. Starting to get a little worried here. Because I have 36 incoming. Recursion gives me energy. So does the cool-headed. Okay. Ah, too bad I drew the recursion a little too late there. Uh, let's do, yeah, recursion, force field, protect. Um, that is almost enough. Uh, let's play, you know what, let's do empty body because I'm hoping to save the smites for later. Mm -hmm. 35, or uh, 45. Yeah, not 35. Uh, this is 24, this is 12. Pendipid's not ready yet. This would draw me potentially good cards. Um, is this a potentially good card? It might be. Let's try Indignation. Lady Flurry of Blows. Yeah, that is enough with double damage smite. Uh, okay, yeah, all right. Survived this one. Definitely didn't perfect. We got Pocket Watch. One of you play three or less cards during your turn. Draw three additional cards that they serve you next turn. That's really good. An Energy Potion and Claw Sash Whip Empty Body. I already have enough Empty Bodies, right? And I know I have one Claw on and no Sash Whip. Let's take a second Claw then. I might actually rest here. I'm a little worried about my HP. So let's rest, and that also will give me a card reward. Crescendo or Upgraded Chill. The Upgraded Chill is really good. Let's take it. That should give me plenty of block. Especially in any fights. All right. So I don't think I need double energy. Probably don't need pressure point either. Okay. All right. So let's do Chill Boot Sequence. So wait, how much do I need? 20, 36. I have 25. Uh, yeah, I have to play everything here, but I mean, I can, of course. Mm -hmm. All right. Unfortunately, I'm weak in next turn. Um, bunch incoming here. Let's start off with uh, Consecrate. Uh, let me do Claw, then Consecrate. See what the cool-headed gives me. A leap. Compile Driver gives me Empty Body. So, 9, 16, plus 7 is 23. There's, again, no chance. Unless, if I enter Calm, exit Calm with Empty Body, I'll have Energy to play the Wheel Kick and something else, but that seems unlikely. Let me still see what Wheel Kick gives me. Um, I don't think I have enough here, right? Even if I do the strategy I just described, that'll be a Miracle, Calm, Empty Body. So that'll be 14 block. I'll have one extra energy left, and I can kill the back then with the extra energy, unless I also drink a Fear Potion and a Flex Potion. Wait, uh, hang on. I'll have, I said 14, but I need 25. No, there's nothing I can do. In which case, let's not waste, uh, let's not waste potions. Mm -hmm. I'm also really happy I rested. All right. Okay, so here I'm vulnerable, which worries me a little. I do have Reinforced Body, which is nice. Uh, let's do Claw, Consecrate. Almost enough to kill the Backliner, but not quite. Uh, so if I kill the Backliner, I need 37. Uh, this is 36 with 4 energy. Uh-oh. Um, hmm, how do I do this? Uh, let's definitely kill the Backliner first with the Smite. Then do Miracle and then Reinforced Body, right? That's the way to fully defend. Okay. All right, at least I'm not intangible, or I'm not vulnerable next turn. And I have still 20 incoming. I can weaken that down to 17. And yeah, I have enough with Leap and Empty Body. Um, should I do Ball Lightning? No, I think I'll just do two Smites. All right, ah, double, waste of double damage. I could have Smited the backline and double damaged this one. All right, here I can do Beam Cell Wallop. And yes, that should be enough. Good. All right, got Juju Base and Normal Enemy Combats are no longer encountered in Crush Mark Rooms. Turbo Sands of Time or Barrage. I don't have anything other than... Uh, yeah, I have two Turbos. I do have one Barrage, but I definitely don't need that. Let's take a third Turbo. And then, yeah, I think I'll go for the shop here. All right, don't worry. I mean, if I'm not going for Curses, might be interesting to take. Melter. Actually, I think I should focus on cards here, right? Should I do Relics? Orange Pellets is interesting. I just don't have a lot of power. So whenever you play power, attack, and skill in the same turn, remove all a few debuffs. Let me take it just because it's good. Let me also then take ah, the Fragment. Is a little useless, but let's still take it. Also, that will help with the Orange Pellets. Then let's take the Leap, of which I have three copies of. Yeah, let's get a Collector on that. Um, I guess I can do Melter and Cold Snap. Do I want a Potion? Omori is nice. You know what? Let's get Omori and get the next Curse to obtain and completely forget Curses. Yeah. So far, I only have one, and I don't think I really need more. 
Um, well, this would kill me. Uh, and this will negate the Omori. So, yeah, let's just uh, do that. Okay. And then here, I'll rest again. Yeah. I would say I desperately need that to rest too. I do have one cool-headed and no sweeping beams. Let's take a second cool-headed. Actually, a little worried about this fight without um, a lot of energy. Or a lot of HP, I mean. Okay, this is reality. Battle him. I don't want to play too many things. So, let's get rid of these two. Okay. Then, yeah, I think I'll just battle him, deceive reality, and consecrate. This will trigger the um, this will trigger the pocket watch next turn. Twenty incoming. Okay. So let's see. Can I do fusion? I'm thinking of doing fusion. Let's do turbo first. All right. Defending against twenty, definitely third eye, and protect alone is not enough. So it has to be something else. Um, it has to be safety, right? Which seems silly, but yeah, that's that's what I have to do. All right, let's do Protect Safe Team. In that case, I don't really need Third Eye. All right, so let's do Beam Cell Wheel Kick. And then I think I'll do Miracle and Fusion, because the Fusion basically replaces the Miracle. Okay. This one took Recycle. Backliner took Like Water. Okay, I don't really need any of those, but I do have 22 incoming here. Pressure points. Yeah, a lot of incoming. How did I do this? Um... I could kill one of them with a fear potion, I think, right? Consecrate is 8 plus 8 is 16. And then a smite is enough. I'm not close. To, actually, I could be close to Pennip if I play. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do Consecrate, Smite 1, and then double damage Smite the other. Okay. And then I can pressure points to kill you. All right. And then do Third Eye. And next turn, I will need Defense. So, actually, this is fine. And then another third eye. Yeah, I'm hoping I will get, in addition to leave one other good defensive card. So I have a lot of incoming. Yep, 26. Okay, that is a problem. Um, I weaken this one. Let's do Cold Snap first. I'm pretty sure I can kill this one, right? Then Cool Headed. Okay. I didn't, don't have a like Water, right? Um, 26. This is only 9 plus I'm 16. Hmm don't think I have a chance here, right? There's nothing I can do. Well, let's do go for the ice for sure, then smite. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I should have... I should have tried to grab better cards. I should have discarded things that were not defensive cards. Yeah, that was a mistake here. Could have also played the trickle, no reason not to. Well, there is a stack. It just, unfortunately, did come a little late. I think I will rebound it, though, because it might be necessary to defend next turn. Then do Ball Lightning and a Smite. Okay. And then, yeah, I think the Smite should at least allow me to survive. There's a Hologram here. Um, let me do Turbo Indignation. I do have to Tranquility, then Melter. Okay. Stack is 36. I need a little bit more than that. Let's do Smite, Hologram. I do have double damage, but what do I bring back? Maybe I'll just bring back a Boot Sequence to be fully defended, then Stack and Tranquility. Okay. All right, and here with double damage, I could do... Yeah, I have to do smite, or uh, yeah, smite here, and then rebound the steam barrier, sure. Mm -hmm. And then let's do recursion for extra damage. Okay, yeah, I don't think I really had a chance to survive, or to perfect this one. 32, this is 36. I think I can do steam barrier, heat sinks, and then reinforce body. Mm -hmm. All right, and then here, let's do double energy, beam cell... Play all my attacks here, my zero cost attacks, followed by my one cost attacks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another bunch of incoming here. Uh, let's do beam cell, follow up, flurry of blows. Oh, I should have. Was that a mistake? It was definitely a mistake because I think I could have. Oh, wait, is this a big mistake? 38. Yeah, no, at least I'm alive, right? Yeah, I'm alive, but yeah, I... actually, never mind. The orb killed there. All right, we got a Dex Potion, which uh, I'm really hoping gets Sacred Bark for 10 max HP, so I don't think I'll get rid of the Fruit Juice. I'm happy with the potions I have. Let's skip this one and skip this one as well. All right, no Sacred Bark, so let me drink this right away. All right, uh, Astrolabe might give me... Actually, I don't mind duplicates, but it might give me rare cards, which I do mind. Coffee Dripper is annoying because I would like to rest and uh, trigger Dreamcatcher. Runic Pyramid. I unfortunately don't have a way to get rid of cards. So if I get with junk stuck in my hand, I'll... You know, won't be able to do anything, but it would allow me to keep good cards, and I don't want the other relics, so let's take the Renew Pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. The other option is to skip a relic, but I'm also hoping to get the Alex Shiny modifier. Okay. 
Oh, that might be difficult too, because I don't have a lot. Uh, one, two. All right, there is only a one, two lead path on the right, but luckily that one has an early shop, and then one, two, three, four, a late shop, and five crush marker total. Yeah, that's a pretty good um, path. Actually, because I don't have a lot of gold, maybe I'll skip the early shop and just spend all my gold at the late shop. All right, so get rid of these two. Chill should be a good amount of lock here. Let's battle him. Chill, boot sequence. And uh, I have 38 incoming, right? So need to do the empty body. Let's do pressure points too, and then empty body. Mm -hmm. All right, already taking some damage here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do crush joints. Uh, the smite is enough. Can I kill with... Yeah, I can also kill with a cold snap. Then do smite and... Um, you know what? Let's do cool headed to be fully defended. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do consecrate, um, smite, and rebound, and pressure points. Good. Okay. Got a bottle miracle potion, which is not bad. I don't have any of these. Um, let's take the Catrafe. That's a decent card. Also extra card draw. And yeah, I'll skip the shop here. Got the darkness. How am I doing on time? Okay, I, I thought this run would take forever, but I guess the extra strength does help to speed things up. Chill is nice. Probably don't need double energy. Probably don't need rebound. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, let's do heat sinks. Chill, battle him, and boot sequence. No, consecrate first. And then uh, double damage rebound. Uh, sure, sure, why not? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of incoming here. Uh, let's do Beam Cell and go for the S, definitely the Backliner. I could kill the Backliner with a Smite, but um, then I would have to deal with the others. I think that's fine. Yeah, let's kill the Backliner with a Smite and then just do a Leap and wait. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, Wallop is nice. Not quite enough. I think I'll recycle the Force Field because, um, yeah, it's a lot of free energy. Let's do Wallop, Cool Headed. Mm-hmm. Cold Snap is pretty good. Um, I can use the Boot Sequence to be fully defended here. How much do I have incoming? 33. Yeah, I'm fully defended, and let's wait. Okay. That Backliner is going to come back to life, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. And now everyone is attacking me. Great. Uh, let's do... Yeah, two Smites kill one of them. Let's kill the stronger one. Mm -hmm. Then do Steam Barriers. I need 21, right? I could do Melter, or I can do Third Eye. I have 13. Yeah, Third Eye would just make me lose 1 HP. Stack is good. Cut through Yeah, all of those are fine. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, let's do... If only I had an aggregate, right? Let's do cut through fate. Um, yeah, there's a, two holograms too. Uh, double damage consecrate, which is nice. Actually, can I kill here? Yes, I can. With something like wheel kick and smite. Okay, good. Yeah, as I said, extra, extra strength is really nice. Turbo consecrate halt. How many turbos do I have? I have three. Let's get a collector bonus on those. Mm-hmm. And then here, and Mind Blast would be amazing. Blind Madness, Hand of Greed. Ugh. Another blind there, Jack of All Trades. Okay, no Panic, no Mind Blast, but Panic Button is my favorite. Let's take that. Here, I think I'll do... Yeah, let's do Jack of All Trades and Blind, I guess. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little sad that I didn't get Mind Blast. That would have made my life much easier. Uh, Yes, let's definitely fight for a Rare Relic here. Okay. All right, Chill is nice. Heat Sinks is nice. Probably don't need this. Hoping I can defend in another way. Let's do heat sinks. Battle him. Chill. Boot sequence. And then hologram. Uh, wait. I am being attacked for 31. I have 20. Let's hologram. Uh, well, that's fine. This is fine. I'll take a little bit of damage. I'll use the panic button in an emergency. Okay. Uh, turbos. Nice. All right. Let's rebound the what? Flying sleeves. Um, rebound the stack. No, stack is pretty useless at the moment. Uh, let me rebound something. Oh, I did flying sleep search. All right, I guess I'm not rebounding anything after all. All right. And then here, I can't kill the back. Now, should I do panic button now? Hoping I can kill next turn. Because I can't defend against 32. I only have 19. No, let's save it for later. Uh, so I think I'll do empty body 1, 2, and then the protect. Okay. That gets me close. So much incoming. Um, all right, uh, let's do wheel kick. Oh boy, I this might be a panic uh, panic button turn. Uh, yeah, I think I have to do smite panic button, and then even then I'm still taking a bunch of damage. Not able to draw a lot of cards next turn. Uh, yeah, I sort of need to kill the backliner. Let's see what the compile driver gives me. Consecrate. All right, and then I have double damage smite. That's good. 
Unfortunately, I have the 22 damage I have to take, and there's nothing I can do. I can gain a little bit of block with the two recursions and then pressure points. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can play the stack, although can I kill here? Let's do turbo, cut through fate. Um, another turbo is fine, although I probably don't need the third eye. Mm -hmm. Jack all trades gives me impatience, which I can play after the smite. And then melter, deceive reality, protect one. And um, let's do safety here. Okay. And then here yeah, I should be able to kill with a streamline. Wow, that was actually harder than I thought it would be. Now, Duvidal, for each character next to come with one strength. I currently only have one. So it's a Distal Chaos Potion, which might be better than the Fear Potion. Prostrate Building Basher Program. I don't mind her program. I don't have that many orbs, and I can't really get a collect most on the others. Okay. All right, got the Spikers here and the Sphere Guardian. Um, Melter is great here. Let's definitely save that. Um, that will make my life so much easier. Um, let's get rid of the Steam Barrier. Do chill first. Do I want to... Yeah, let's actually rebound the Melter. Oh, I should have Melted first. That was a mistake. If I did Melter and then rebound, I would have been able to kill the backliner, right? Mm, bummer. I was hoping to just use the Melter again, but that just made my life harder than it had to be. All right, Jack of all trades gives me a blind. Let's do cool-headed. And um, I think I, do, I can do one attack. Yeah, let's play one of the smites. Okay. Mm. Right here, I have Streamline for 19. Um, actually, you know what? Let me recycle the streamline because that way I can play more better stuff, hopefully. Indignation, empty body are nice. A nice combination. Uh, let's do rebound. No, uh, let me do smite first. And then double damage, rebound. That would be enough to kill if I had some block. Let's do empty body and then rebound. Okay. And then I can... No, let's not play anything. Fine, let's do the heat sinks to free up my hand. All right. Mm -hmm. 10 incoming. I do have an Indignation, but no good block card. Let's do Indignation, then the Smite. I'll take 7 damage here, but it would make my life a little easier. I can do Empty Body and wait. Okay. So I'll take a little bit of damage, but I'm closer to being able to kill this one. Uh, here is a Defragment and a Reprogram. Interesting combination. Uh, let me save the Third Eye. Unfortunately, my head is getting really full. But yeah, let me save the Third Eye so I can play it next turn before dealing damage. So I'll do Third Eye, get rid of all three of these, and then it's not enough, but it gets me close. Yeah, let's do Smite. Mm. I have to deal two more damage, and I don't want to take nine damage, but I also don't see a way around it. Okay, there's a Protect and then a Smite. Phew, all right. Not too bad there. Go for the Ice Glacier or Beam Cell. I have three Beam Cells, and I think just one Go for the Ice. I would have loved the Glacier, but no, let's get a Collector on the Beam Cell. Okay. All right, Giant Head. 16 incoming. Boot Sequence and Chill is not enough. Oof. Reprogram sort of evens it out. Yeah, let's get rid of this and hope I get something else. Cool headed is great. All right. So let's do, yeah, boot sequence, reprogram, chill, cool headed. Okay. And then battle him. And uh, might as well do this. Okay. All right. Another 16. Um, recursion gives me some lock. So does third eye. That's going to be 5 plus 8 is 13. And then I have to play the stack, right? Or should I save the stack for later? Let me see what the Discal Chaos gives me. Might be something good. Flurry of Blows, Flying Sleeves, and Third Eye. All right, good. I have Indignation and Hologram. That's actually not bad. And then um, I still need to play the Third Eye. Okay. And then do Consecrate and save the Smite for when I'm in Wrath. I know that next turn I'm guaranteed to not be attacked. So yeah, let's do Indignation. Then Flurry of Blows. Um, can I deal double damage here? Yes, if I do Cut Through Fate. Ooh, Beam Cell is really nice. Let's do Beam Cell, then double damage, smite for 142. That gets me overkill. Beautiful. Um, let's also do Turbo, Hologram, a good attack card like Cut Through Fate, also card draw. Mm -hmm. Another Beam Cell, why not? All right, let's do Beam Cell, smite, 96, and then let's do Pressure Points for good measure. That was a lot of damage for one turn. I think if I played the Miracle, I might have been able to play even more damage. Uh, let's do Miracle now, then Compile Driver, and then Smite for a kill. All right, perfect this one. Very happy with that. We got Ginger. You can only give kind of weakened. Reinforced Body, Skim, or Judgment. I don't have the Skim. I do have one Reinforced Body. Let's take a second one, and then have to go left for the next Elite. And again, I think I'll rest. No reason to upgrade anything. Crescendo might be really good. I know I have one Crush Joints, but I think here it's better to take the Crescendo. Okay. All right, who's my final boss, by the way? Don't know Deca. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, Reptomancer with um, Hologram Indignation, but nothing to really to use it with. I guess I'll get rid of the Indignation. Hope I get something good. Reinforced body. Well, it's better than nothing. Um, let's do Chill. 
Reinforced body. And that's enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do trigger the pocket watch. That's good. Luckily, I'm not being attacked by the uh, Reptomancer here. Let's do turbo. Pressure points. Cut through fade. I'm not close to double damage yet. Um, anything? Here, let's do cut through fade. Then hologram the cut through fade. Beam cell is nice. Okay, hologram the cut through fade. Kill this one. Okay. White noise is not a bad idea. All right, and then, um, yeah, I don't have quite enough, so let's do beam cell. Smite. Okay. Then white noise gives me deva form, which is really good. And then, wait, I only have seven, so let's do miracle third eye. Um, crescendo is interesting, but I will be... Actually, I have tranquility too. Probably don't need this though. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, this one is guaranteed to attack me here, right? All right, I do have double damage wheel kick. That will deal a lot of damage. Let me do boot sequence first. Then I think I'll risk Crescendo. Actually, should I do? If I do Crescendo as well as a Flex Potion, that is a lot of damage. But no, let's just do the wheel kick here. Okay. Go for the SS14. Cold Stop is 20. That kills this one. That's good. All right. I do need to kill the Backliner and I need to exit Wrath. Um, I need 32. That's going to be hard to do. I do have an Energy Potion. Let me drink that as well. Do go for the SU. That brings it down to 12. Uh, no, 24, right? Um, okay. So then I think if I do something like Smite to kill you. And then, um, like water would be just 25. I think that should be enough if I do like water and tranquility, right? Yes, yes, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, luckily I'm not being attacked here. Let's do heat sinks, flurry of blows. I guess I can do reprogram to see reality. Oh, right, I lose the uh, negative debuff thanks to the orange pellets. And then, um, yeah, might as well do recursion wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, not being attacked, that's good. Let's do the smite is only seven, uh, 17. So actually, how much is this? 18. Yeah, fine. Let's do claw smite. Okay. Then flying sleeves and maybe, no, I don't really need more card draw here. Let's do smite third eye. Curate my next hand. I might need block next turn. Let's get rid of these two consecrators. Nice. And then let's do steam barrier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 32 incoming. Let's do blind. That's good. Then Consecrate. I could do double damage. Kill the backliner with it. Yeah, let's do Claw, double damage, Claw. Uh, consecrate, I mean. And then kill here with... Uh, wait, I thought I had enough to kill. I don't. But luckily, I think I can fully defend here. No, here, Flurry of Blows kills. Perfect this one. We got Smiling Mass, the Merchant Card Removal Service. Now always costs 50 gold. Wreath of Flame, go for the Aster Halt. I don't think I have anywhere near enough go for the Isis, but maybe I'll just take another one. Yeah, I just have one. I don't have any of the, of the others, so let's take the go for the Ice here. And then going this way for three more question mark rooms in a shop. Here I got Torin Thopto. I'm going to use a potion heal 5 HP. And here I got Bottle Lightning. I'm pick up, choose a skill side. come with this card in your hand. I'm actually not sure what that should be. Should that be the Crescendo? That would always stay in my opening hand. And it might make things a little easier. Okay. Here, transform a card might give me a, a rare... No, I think I'll skip this one. I don't think I need to transform anything. I could transform the, the curse, but no. And then here, I need to buy a bunch of relics. I don't have enough to get I like shiny, right, unfortunately. Um, Shuriken is tempting. So is back operation. Let me focus on cards first. There's a hologram, there's a recursion. I haven't seen a single Agad, which is actually very disappointing. So I have two holograms, and how many recursions did I have? Three. All right, let's buy a collect bonus on the recursions, then get another hologram, and Entropy Bird might be really good. That might help me perfect the boss, right? Um, and then might as well take, uh, let's take Lightwater because that will help trigger the orange pelts more often. I think that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to be a little careful with the spiker here. Um, actually, I think I have plenty of block on turn one to maybe even enter Wrath. It's very risky. Let's do chill. No, no, I don't have enough. Yeah, I'm taking way too much damage and I won't be able to kill even if I enter Wrath. Let's do battle him, boot sequence, and ball lightning you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely taking some damage without being in Wrath. All right, so here, let's see what the White Nurse gives me. That's Rush Down. Okay, that's something. Uh, then Beam Cell, Rebound, the Flurry of Blows. All right. And then I can almost kill the back then with the uh, Smite. Mm -hmm. All right. Here, let's do Flurry of Blows to kill you. Then do Pressure Points. Okay. That might be a good way to kill this one. Um, and then let's do Smite. Actually, can I do double damage here? Um, no, let's just smite you, and then wait for next turn for double damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here I can do turbo, crescendo, 
um, the Protect and then play the Double Damage Smite to kill this one and then kill this one with the Cold Snap. Good. All right, uh, Beam Cell Turbo Cool Headed. I had four Beam Cells, so that's enough. Only two Cool Headeds. And how many Turbos did I have? I don't think I... Oh, no, I already had four. Okay, let's take the uh, Cool Headed, right? That'll be my third Cool Headed. And then here, I could get another... Cur Actually, right, I have the Omori, so I don't get Curse. Upgrade all cards no longer healing. I'm not planning to heal anymore, so yeah, let's do this. Okay, got 87 upgraded cards. That might be fun. And then here, I won't heal, but I will get another card reward. I did have just checked for enough Bean Cells, right? Bowling Bash or Prey, don't really need any of them. Let's take the Bowling Bash. Okay. All right, so I am trying to trigger the Orange Pellets. Uh, let me definitely play the Battle him, chill... And I would like to keep the Crescendo. Boot Sequence might be necessary, so I think I'm happy with this. I do need an attack, though, right? Um, that might be a problem. Let me let me see what the Jack of All Trades gives me. Okay, there's an attack there. Good. So let's drink the Flex Potion, and then I'll save the Entropy for later. So let's do, let's do Sadistic Nature, Chill, Boot Sequence, and then Swift Strike. Uh, am I actually going to take damage immediately? 20 incoming. Let's drink this. Let's drink this. Probably enter Calm, I guess. Then drink this. Okay. I might need to uh, use the Gambler's Brew. I'd love to do battle him, but yeah, no, I need to I need to make sure I can fully defend here. Okay. Leap is good. Yeah, let's do Beam Cell, Defragment, Cool Headed. That's uh, 29. I have 26. Yeah, I'm fully defended here, and then I can do Consecrate. Okay. And once I get another power, I can play the Panic button. Um, and get rid of the debuff with the um, with the orange pellets. Okay, don't have a power yet. Um, actually, a little word here again. Let's do beam cell, streamline, empty body to give me energy back. I need 32. I have 14. Uh, this is 21. And yeah, I think I can do a safety or a leap. Yeah, let's do leap. Save the rest for later. Okay. The extra focus does help me in the at the moment. Mm -hmm. Reinforced body is great. Um, let's do cool headed first. Okay. Then claw. Uh, consecrate is nice. Okay. Um, 32, I have 11. So this brings it up to 27. And then, or, or I can just do room for spy, right? That'll be 20, 27. Yeah, that'll be enough. Uh, wait, can I do a two energy room for spotty? 18 plus 11 is 30, um, sorry, 29. That's not enough. Yeah, let's just do room for spotty here. It does fill up my hand a little bit, which is annoying. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here let's do turbo is good. Beam cell recursion. Okay. Then double damage flying sleeve. Sure. Okay. Not actually that far off from being able to kill the back gunner. Um, I need 38. I have 11 once again. Let's do the protect. So that's 27. 37. And uh, yeah, let's do the leap here. Fire potion is very close to, but not quite enough yet. Mm -hmm. All right. 38 again. Uh, let's do recursion compile driver. Okay. Then um, panic button would be fine here, right? Although I think I can go by without it. Um, so wait, I have 11. This is 27. And then third eye would be 36. I need 38. <sighs> not quite. But yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, and basically, I do want to free up my hand. Let's do third eye. Um, next turn, I do want to try to kill the back gunner. Stack would be great to have. Let's get rid of these three. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I have the fire pusher still, right? Yeah, so here, I don't have a single attack. That's annoying. Let's do pressure points. And then follow up is enough to kill this one. Good. And I think I'll wait. Uh, let me get rid of the force field. Now that I have the stack, that will uh, get me over at least one turn. Yeah, 44. That's interesting. All right, let's do Flurry of Blows, play the Go for the Ice. Okay. And then I think I have to do Stack here. No real other choice, right? Other than playing a bunch of other cards. Wait, can I get 44 or 40, really? So this is 16. That's 12. That's 28. 34. Yeah, I think I can fully defend if I just do Protect, Safety, Steam Barrier, and Empty Body. That way I'm basically saving the stack for a turn where it might be more urgent to play. All right, let's do pressure point one, pressure point two. And then, you know what? I kind of think I should hologram another pressure points. Yeah, why not? I could also hologram the... Um, yeah, actually, this is fine. I'll draw extra cards. I could have holograms to battle him, just to make sure I have enough block cards. But I think this is fine, too. 55, I don't think I'll do an Ignition. 
Uh, let's do recursion, a rebound, the cut through fate. Uh, this looks fine next turn, actually, especially with the double energy. So uh, let's do stack. And I think I'll try to kill next turn. Third eye, curate my next hand. Don't need these two. Okay. Yeah, so here let's do indignation, double energy. I should have done double energy first, then crush joints, cut through fate, and then I think I should be able to kill with a rebound. All right. Perfect this one. Got overkill. Didn't get combo. Didn't see an aggregate or a study. That would have been great to get combo. 1200 exactly. That's not great, but not bad either. So I have the seven elites. I perfected three of them. I did miss the very first elite by one HP, but I don't think I really stood a chance against the others. I perfected two of the three bosses. No real chance against the egg two boss. Um, I also end up with a lot of leftover potions. Got six collector bones, which is not too bad out of ADDA cards with two colors. Um, end up with popper, overkill. Didn't get combo, of course, and Inscombium was easy. Um, I don't think I really stood a chance, of course. I only got two relics out of tiny chest. Uh, now, Worst case scenario, actually, the second relic I got from it was on the second half of Night 3, so there's no way to get two curses off of this. So best case scenario would have been to get two curses total. I had one curse, and I triggered Omori once, so the most I think I could have gotten were four curses, but maybe not having the Tiny Chest would have changed the RNG enough. But I think everybody would have gotten it, right? Because the event should be the same. Anyway, let's see where we're standing ranking with 1,200. Um, oh, wow. People did much better here. Oof, okay. I, uh, wow, all right. So I'm 50th right now. So if I had perfected one more boss, that would have put me with in 1300 even. That would have been, um, yeah, tied for, well, yeah, tied for 21st place. And then um, Anti got an extra 50 points more than that. Mike got 25 points more, which might be explained by just Mike playing a little faster because I was a little slow. So that would give me 1325. Uh, and then Anti got 1350, which means in addition to what I had, either Anti was able to get an extra collector most or maybe perfect an extra lead or got an extra or got combo. The combo would have been difficult. Yeah, if I saw an aggregate, that would have made the run much more fun, I think. With aggregate, things do get a lot of fun. I'm not upset that I took the Runic Pyramid. I think that ended up being not that that bad and actually kind of useful i was able to keep the stack for the right turn um but yeah could have been a little luckier against the act boss i guess anyway let's review the scores from yesterday all right so yesterday was an ironclad run with the all-stars modifiers so i gave you two copies of panic button uh purple cards and deadly events and also i have to apologize i uh, didn't put the timestamps in yesterday i was a little in a rush after recording so uh, i did put it in there today though if you want to review that again um but yeah so people did uh, not too well as i predicted correctly some people died uh, you end up with pelts having a great score of 1525 um so pelts had a lot of fun with the rare cards um i think i was trying to go for popper at the beginning but as i think a lot of people noticed it was not easy to remove cards yesterday so um, pelts embraced the popper uh sorry the rare cards from the very beginning and had a lot of success with it i assume was able to protect everything got highlander was able to get overkill but didn't get combo i got very lucky with combo yesterday uh, and then also wasn't able to get curses i don't think anybody was able to get curses some people got close but uh yeah unfortunately that wasn't enough david ended up with 1368 david um had a lot of fun with the feel no pain and dark embrace combination that i did as well um but it sounds like david wasn't able to get highlander i think i wouldn't be surprised if david just forgot to remove the extra panic button um I, it definitely happened to others as well and i can definitely see that happening and panic button was very useful too so it's it's hard to to want to remove that i also didn't go for popper uh, just like me wasn't able to see enough card removal opportunities then you have PGM here with 1357. I end up with 1355. I perfected eight of the 13 elites um, using wing boots. Not the best way, but pretty well. And then I perfected two of the three bosses. Missed the act three boss. Just didn't really stand a chance against someone. Was able to get overkill and combo. I got combi combo with a lucky break of getting a lot of offerings from Dead Branch. Uh, so I think I think that's how it happened. And then I uh, didn't go for Popper um, just because of that, the extra two rare cards you start off with with the All-Stars and then not having enough removal opportunities, as I mentioned. Also missed the time modifier, played over an hour, um, missed the Inscabium modifier by two cards and uh, didn't hit a single shop yesterday. I think with the extra shops, I would have at least been able to get Inscabium, if not, I like Shiny as well. So yeah, definitely missed a few opportunities there yesterday. Then no funny names in the top 80. You have Panda here with 1299. Um, Panda perfected most elites on all the bosses, which is very impressive, but accidentally forgot to remove the duplicate panic button and so wasn't able to get Highlander, so that cost him an extra 100 points. Um, he did mention, though, that the um, the extra panic button did allow him to perfect the third boss, so so maybe it evened out a little bit. You get 100 points for perfecting and 100 points for losing hi the Highlander modifier. And also, Panda tried to go for cursors, but only end up with four. Um, and yeah, I think that's what I would have been able to do as well if I tried to take curses um, and also didn't go for Pomper and enjoyed the rare cards too.
Then you have Goldberg here with 1261. And the missing top 100, you have Cosmino with 1253. Cosmino just uh, mentioned that he didn't really feel like there was a good strategy yesterday. And he just picked up cards and hoped for the best and did okay. Um, it didn't mention that he didn't value Sacred Bark as much for elites, um, which is actually an interesting discussion. I'm in no way an expert on um, potion usage. But in the past, there are definitely scenarios where I tried to save potions for boss fights and then um, didn't perfect the elites because of that. And then wasn't able to perfect the boss either or or the potions were not necessary against the boss. So I think my philosophy right now is that you basically use potions as soon as you get them, as soon as you need them, with some exceptions. I think the... Um the cultist push is one that I, I think I usually save for the boss fight, right? Like some of the really powerful potions. Uh, but other than that, I just try to use them as soon as I can. Um, and then, yeah, Flick Nicomia has 1237, uh, 36. I do want to mention Anti, who in the past has been doing really well and also did really well today. Um, yesterday, he died, unfortunately. Um, he rushed and misclicked at the Gremlin leader. Um, and I'm actually, I wouldn't be surprised if, I mean, you see that there are not that many filming names yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people died um, just because it, it, it could have been a very difficult run, too. I got a little lucky but yeah somebody like anti with a small mistake wasn't able to survive so that's unfortunate anyway that's it for yesterday uh, let me know in comments what you did for today and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye